Does It, the show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role-playing games. Previously on the Eden Program. When you walk into a pod, you die. You are not Freddy Black. They should hear you. They fell they showed a video with a bunch of data. So we have to go back into the city. Where you kill two people to save a few hours drive. This is the place where memories are stored. I'm able to hack into the, the main system. What's your bet on the entire world going down in chaos? Episode 5, Deal with the Devil. You can see each other from your containment pots. This massive room is entirely filled with pods. It's called the Embarkation Room, and there is lots of propaganda. Much like the factory floor where you were, well, let's say born, it is is a much more updated version. You can tell that when time comes, people come here to be uploaded, saved, and regenerated, as well as de-generated. You have the privilege of watching this process once. A few pods away, an old woman comes in, her family surrounds her, there's a big celebration, Uh, she's wearing a birthday hat. She goes in, there's uh, a moment for her family to leave, and then she screams a horrible, terrible wail as she's incinerated before your eyes. You are not party to the events on the other end. Were there any children nearby? Have we seen any children? No. The teenager is the youngest person we've seen. Yes. Got it. He yeah, probably it like, like 200. That's what I thought. Seems like there aren't children that people are like uh, not having kids for whatever reason. The woman, security leader, appears. You can hear her voice through the open communication channel being piped into your tube or possibly into your ears directly. You're not quite sure. She says, Well,. You've caused quite the problem. What do you have to say for yourselves? Who are you? I feel like I should know you or something. You can call me Captain Hale. Cap. Oh, Captain. Um, Captain, all we did was set things straight. Who's your boss? I want to talk to your boss. The people had a right to know what was going on. The things that you've kept from them are we're going to have to come to light eventually. We just accelerated the process. Yes, fortunately we were able to isolate this building from the rest. The damage that you did only affected a, about 1.3 billion. Should they be reintegrated, then uh, the worm or virus or whatever it was that you the truth. put into the system will come out. So, we've cut this place off until we've been able to figure out how to do that. Fortunately, many of the systems are independent of the main storage device. We can continue operations as normal for this city. So you haven't killed anyone. We're not the ones that are killing people. You say that with such smugness. Did you watch it, Captain Hale? Did you see it? What are you afraid of? Everyone saw it. I don't know how you did it. So it's you, the truth. Do you doubt the truth? Do you doubt what you saw? What I saw wasn't truth. What I saw was a terrorist act. Information can be frightening, but that doesn't make it any less true. Listen. The sad truth about you... Skyver terrorists is 
that you have not experienced rebirth. We have. You are not saved. Well, you have, but for some reason, you seem to be broken. I prefer the term enlightened. Mm, yeah, sure. The, the the memory transfer was only partial. I don't know how you did it. Um, although, if anyone could do it, I suppose it would be you, uh, Mr. Stevens. Call me Joe. Certainly. You changed the world. You made humanity immortal. And that was a mistake. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Because we're not actually immortal. Do I look like a 65-year-old woman to you? You're just the husk of a 65-year-old woman in a younger body. You look like a very confused cosplayer, if I'm being perfect. (laughs) (laughs) If you you choose to insult our way of life, then I suppose you really have no part in this civilization anymore. Why don't you try it? Not, Not you specifically. But, I mean, if we're going to die anyway... I'll do it. Why not run one of us through what we did before and take your own scans? What scans? You think I'm Freddie Black, right? (laughs) You are Freddie Black. Scan me. We have scanned you. Scan me again. Why? Because I'm not... We detected the error. It's not an error. We recovered the data from the alpha site. We've compared the scan. The old equipment damaged you. It's not. It's not damaged. It's not old. He made that... There's a data retrieval error. Do you not deny that you don't remember? He's not... He he is not I don't remember it because I'm not... He has the genetic information of Freddie Black. Oh, well, which is it? You are or you aren't? He has the genetic information of Freddie Black. I'm as much as Freddie Black as... He does... Yeah, he's essentially Freddie Black's twin, you could say. He's got the genetic information, but he doesn't have... Life experience. ...the soul. He doesn't have the memories. He doesn't have the consciousness. He He has his own consciousness, his own soul, his own spirit. I am a new person. He is a new person with the same genetic information. And if you put me through the machine again, I will be another person. If you do so, this Freddie Black... Let's call him Freddy Blacker. <laughs> we'll die. And then a new Freddy Black will be in his place. Let's call him Freddy Blackest. Freddy Blackest. Just for conversation's sake. The old genetic material is disintegrated and recycled. The new genetic material is brought from a common media. There's, there's nothing of the old that remains. Exactly. If you're so sure, then look at the information, follow the test, and make and make your own determination. Your equipment, Run the data. Your equipment was old and it was faulty. Some of the safeties had been taken off, apparently on purpose, though I cannot possibly understand why. Question. Be- if you take those safeties off, looking at your schematics, what would happen? An empty shell would be created. Everyone knows this. Well, then let's take those safeties off and let's find out the what system. Happens can't do that. It's it's hardwired not to do that. What if it can? What if it works? Then then what would you do? Because that's exactly what happened. We can reproduce the same experiment. Corporate policy states that if an empty shell should accidentally be created under those circumstances, it will be disintegrated and uh, shuffled off into containment. Do so we seem like empty shells to you? No, you're damaged. That's <laughs> But we're those empty shells that you're talking about. That you just that you said that would be the result. But that's not the result. We're the result. No, your old bodies were disintegrated, and then they were. You, they aren't you, our bodies. Wait, wait. You're saying our old bodies were disintegrated? They weren't. Of course they were. Didn't you? You wouldn't watch, be here if they weren't. They were Didn't in the morgue. Watch the video. Yeah, they were at the no, morgue. No, no. Sorry, those bodies weren't on the video. There was in the morgue when they interrogated me earlier. They showed me our old bodies. Yeah. Well, check your morgue. That's nonsense. Who, who, check your morgue. You have the lawyer's name. Give check, it. Check the interrogation tape. He Did he turn that off? I'm going to get back to you. Unbeknownst to them, but noticed to you, you guys still can communicate. Um, you're actually running through the old, um, you know, French Skyver network, so. What, what, what should we do? 
Right. Well, what sort of space are we in? Are we in, we're kept in separate containment cells? Is that essentially what's yeah. going on? Think, think crystal tubes. Crystal tubes. Yeah. These there's, are there's a little the, chair for yourself. But, I mean, these are the disintegration tubes, right? They are. Yeah. They absolutely are. The chair is metal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but, the, the chair is actually made out of poly just like everything else. Huh. But, I mean, it, this is where old people come in and sit down and are disintegrated. And, and then become new people. Reintegrated into new people so, in some other room. Does it look like that there... I mean, is there any sort of... Is it all sheer glass? Is there any way that we can find any sort of, like, a Let's button find or out. interest or panel or something? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. I look for some sort of a panel to open that maybe I can try to get into the system. I look for a way to open the door from the inside. How many cards are you using? Two. All right. So I have three. I'm going to do the same. Okay. And I'm going to trigger a professional engineer for that. I'm not going to trigger anything. Yeah, I triggered the hacker, but I don't think I can trigger you know stealth with that. So uh, two successes. Two. No, I failed big time. No successes. One, two. The way this works is it lifts up, and knowing this, you feel like you should be able to pry the thing up or somehow engage the mechanism that that lifts it up. But you also notice that. There is a secondary kind of system involved in this, which is basically a vacuum underneath it. Once the incineration occurs, there is waste material that is sucked up. So there's a grate down there, a very fine grate. And um, you think that maybe you can pry it up. So you do. And you find yourself in this long vacuum tube about the size of a man. What's it like down there? It's um, very cramped, and I am uh, apparently the sneakiest senator around. <laughs> <laughs> you wiggle your way, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter as you go. Mm. What's it like down there? Is it, is it's it... getting kind of warm. Am I seeing any other way out of this tube as I go? Um, What's the tube made of? Well, it's, it's kind of like a, a flexible um, AC tube material. Wait, wait, stay down there, and then she'll come back. Put the grate back in place. And wait. She'll think that she'll think that you found a way to escape, and maybe she'll. And we won't open the pod, and just leave it open. Are the other pods just left open? Normally, yes. Yeah. And she'll leave it open, and then yeah, that's what we'll do then. And they'll she'll she'll call for some sort of a search, or monologue at us some more. So just uh, put the grate back in place and wait. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, because uh, I don't want to end up a soup. After a time, she comes back. What's going on here? Uh huh. What happened? I Security! And, and she speaks into like a wrist thing. But almost instantly, a couple of security guys just, just showed me. All right, you two, spill. What happened? I don't know. That he, managed, he was fiddling around with the door, and it just opened up, and he was able to get out. What are you talking about? It, well, I don't know how he did it. If I knew how he did it, I'd be out of here, too. Yeah, he left us here. Officer, run a diagnostic on that pot. And he, he goes over and he's fiddling with like the base and, and it, it lifts, it closes, it lifts again. Look, if you knew if you knew James as well as we did, you'd know that he has a knack for getting himself out of this sort of situation. So I don't know how he did it, but he found a way to open the door. Hey, by the way, did you find out about the interrogation tape he was talking about? As a matter of fact, I did. Shall I play it for you? Mm-hmm. Um on a uh, kind of a, a pedestal that's in the middle um, there for that purpose um, she she does a thing on her wrist and it, it, suddenly the screen through your augmented reality you're able to see mm-hmm. um, basically the, the the security play the security tape plays and it's been heavily edited it shows no evidence of any kind of morgue bodies in fact, it totally makes her case. I, I, I point that out to her. I say, this is, a, this is clearly an edited version, and if you give me a few moments with the console, I can prove it to you that this is edited. Yeah, that's going to happen. Well, what do you expect me to do? It's not, I mean, it's not like I can do anything but just mess with that file if you give me access to, to an um, isolated console that is not hooked up to any other network. I can show you that this, has been, this is an edited video. You've you already closed off this tower to everything else. It's so. not like I can send any information out from this tower. You designed anymore. this system, Mr. Stevens. There's no telling what you can do. We've already told you we aren't who we you think we are. He's not Job Stevens. I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm going to let my superiors decide what to do with you. 
Well, I um, want to speak to your superiors. You uh, finish your diagnostic, and um, I no, I want to talk to the uh, your superiors. Who do you think? Who who do you answer to? She turns on her high heel and walks out. She, she's in high heels. She's of in high heels in a cat suit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, she has a tail. No. Um, so yeah, it's aside from the one guy who's like now stuck with the grunt work of trying to run a diagnostic. Hey. It's like, ugh, I'm hey, going to have to run a complete cleanse cycle on this stupid pod. Is he got, is he have the door open now and he's messing up? Oh, yeah, it? it's up. Or the door's open. Hey, so you need to, James, you're going to have to, like, um, come up through the grate. Just kind of... Wait till we tap distract on, him. Tap, yeah, we're, we'll distract him. You just kind of grab him and just throw him behind you, down the tube, and then walk out and then let us out. I can try. Hey, hey, you've seen the video. What do you think? Listen, I don't have time for terrorist propaganda crap. Hey, you can interpret the video any way you want to. We just want to know what you thought. Did you see it? And what'd you think? Yeah. Um, I'm not supposed to talk to prisoners. Well, we're technically not prisoners. I mean, they haven't figured out what to do with us just yet. We're just being held for questioning. I think you're great men who've done great work and you've made some bad decisions. We look like great men. Honestly. Is this back to me yet? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah, I'm sliding that grade out of the way, and our goal here is to remove the guard. Right. I'm just gonna spend a fan mail, because that's all I got. Do you have, does it match with any of your skills? No. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna try to keep distracting him, so... Yeah, can we try Absolutely. to distract him yeah. and help him out? For sure. Okay. And that's, I'm gonna count that as definitely, like, you know, sneaky stealth. And I'm gonna use related. BS Detector, because it takes one to one. You got it. Two. I got two successes. I have no successes. I got one. So, so we so we distracted him. Mm-hmm. All right, and you succeeded in shoving him down the, the, <laughs> down the, the ass chute. Uh, so narrate what happens since both of you are distracting, and Will has succeeded in um, eliminating a guard. All right, so removing uh, removing a guard, removing a guard. Well, well, we've killed I'm one guy at least so now. Well, thanks. So uh, yeah, I'll make a murderer out of you. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, so we are um, t- uh, talking to the guard. Um, Freddie and I are, are um, starting to get through to him a little bit. He's starting. We're basically saying, um, "Hey, just look at you know, believe your eyes. Look at the video for what it is. Give it another, give it another look." We seem like we're starting to get through to him, so you know, he seems like maybe he could come around just to our line of thinking, just as we think we've you know possibly convinced him that maybe um, what he's believed for his life is is, is not true. Uh, that dastardly James Jefferson. <laughs> Just comes <laughs> up out of the darkness. Plan. Out of the darkness, he le- he's leaning off to one side as um, the diagnostician steps in, and he sort of moves the grate, tilts it downward. He kind of stumbles a bit, and then when you move the grate off to the side and step up, you sort of lean the grate against him, so he uh, against his shoulder, so he has basically nowhere else to go but down, ah! and he falls all the way down the tube, and he's essentially toast. Then you're able to climb out and step over, and you're free. And you probably feel some remorse over that. Probably but it was 100% your fault. We were actually getting through to him, and he might have actually been able to come around and actually let us go. So now it's time for you to let us out? I think about it a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that point. Because apparently I'm a terrible yeah. person, you see. Like they already thought I'm, we were I'm, terrible person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, no actually, you, the, of course you did it, because there was no other way. It's not like you could have done it. No, I opened the... I just described it in fun. Okay. There was a console in this room that she was using. Why don't you use that to bring up the unedited version of the video? If we're out. Are we yeah. out? Yeah, he let us out. Oh, okay, cool. Go to the console. Do your, your hacking magic. All right, let's, let's I'm going to hack into it. I'm going to pull up the unedited Do version. It. Can we broadcast it to people within the facility, including her? I think we need to go to a They've all room. seen it. They've all seen the unedited. No, no, no. The, no, unedited, no, no. the unedited interrogation. Oh, that. that the video. thing that yeah. is... Let's go to the morgue. Find the actual bodies? Let's just find the bodies straight up, if they're still there. But we it, we might have trouble getting there if we can hack into it from here. Well, let's let's find the unedited uh, version of the interrogation video because that would definitely show like the corporation is corrupt; mm-hmm. they're hiding something. And then we go find the bodies. But let's not stay. But let's where not come to find right. Us first. And hold on, maybe we shouldn't broadcast it just yet because then they'll know that we're we've escaped. Yeah. Maybe we should like somehow down like download it and keep it somewhere. You know what we can do? Perhaps I can set it up so that it, that um, I'm able to play that video um, through some sort of a voice activation. 
like I say, I say some sort of word like you know, play a keyword. Out. Yeah, like a keyword that I program into the system so that it plays that video for everyone. Hippopotamus. Yes, but let's not Catwoman. do that here. Yeah, let's go to the morgue and do it there. Wait, no, but there's a terminal here. Right, but they know we're here, and they will come back to find us here. I'm with him. Let's go. Well, right, but they don't know we escaped. So we're right. going to do that. But they're coming back elsewhere. when they find out we've escaped. We have more time. Yeah. Oh, okay. to the morgue. All right. It's got to be close to the incinerators, right? Because we don't know where the morgue is. I think this plan we should execute it at the, at the nearest terminal that is in this room. Well, pull up map, find morgue, go to morgue, then do the hacking. All right, fair enough. Let's let, let's pull up a map so we can find where the morgue is. So that's cool. what I'm going to do. Easy. Yeah. That doesn't take any... Um, no, it's it's down in basement two. Okay, how far right. away? Uh, uh, you just about? need to hit one of the lifts. Okay, let's go, to the, let's go to the lift and do it. Oh, no, we let that guy die. We could have used him to press buttons so that we don't get tracked. <laughs> that's true. James, that was an oversight on your part. Let's just take the service stairs. Instead of the elevator? That's what I did before. And yeah, no one was there are stairs, stairs, right? Are there stairs next to the elevator? There are stairs, but it's locked by a door, and the door requires a hand. Ah, geez. And the elevator also requires a hand. Mm-hmm. I engineer the lock on the doors. Okay. Yeah. You've got that ability, right? Let's see if you're able. Uh, one success. One success. Taking the utility belt from the uh, security guard before you throw him down. Um, you attached it to yourself, and now you just whip it out, and it's, a, it's basically the, the digital equivalent of a, a multi-tool. And uh, within a, f- a few seconds, you hear the door click open. All right, let's Got go it. to the morgue. Let's do it. And go look at our own dead bodies, which is right. not creepy at all. Running down the stairs, you make your way to the next hallway, and it's a crash bar on this side, so you're able to get out without any problems. And down the hallway, over to the morgue. Uh, again, there's an identity required to get into the morgue. Do you want to do your magic? Yeah. As you reach to um, take your multi-tool out, the door clicks open. After you. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is there no one standing there? There's no one standing there. Okay. I look at Freddy, and after you. I did you. You totally didn't see me not open the door. Okay. So let's go find our bodies. Where are the bodies? All right, so you go in. There's this um, massive wall of refrigerated compartments. Mm. Has anyone else bothered to question why um, something that doesn't leave a, a, a capital building for an organization whose copy ability doesn't leave bodies behind has a morgue? Yeah. You didn't even need a morgue in the first place. I didn't want to say that out loud, but I think it begs the question. Yeah, I start point. opening them all at random. An excellent question, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, says in a disembodied voice. Is the room very it dark? It sounds vaguely familiar. What is it? It's not Phil Lehman or whatever, is it? No. Is it Hale? No. Is it? It's what? a male. It's a male voice. Is it a very familiar voice, like a senator's voice? So many questions that need to be answered, and so many answers that need to be questioned. Okay, nice philosophy. The bodies you're looking for are in 3A, B, and C. I check. They're there. Or you're there, if you prefer. Oh. Why didn't you leave Your former message? you is winning whatever. And you are... Do we recognize the voice? Yes. So who is it? Um, it seems to be the voice of the old man of the other recordings. Oh, so it's like... Old it's Job's. Me. Old you. Old Job. It appears to be old Job. Not old Freddy. I run this facility. You're not. Oh, he's not Job. He's another. He's the one of the copies, the successful copies. Well, unsuccessful copies. Please, let me invite you upstairs for a meal and a drink, and all of your questions will be answered. Um, one sure, of the panels. I guess. Um. It's, it's a door, basically, but it goes, it just, it lifts. Do we have time to, see, I, should, I told you we should have done the hacking before we left that room. Do I we think, have time to do any, like, computer? I think whoever this is is probably ahead of you on that front. He's going to let, he's only going to let us do what he wants. <laughs> Please. Right now, this is between us. Let's keep it that way. Does he sound like I can trust him? Let's find out. I'm going to use BS detector. Two. 
He does not sound manipulative at all. So I guess we give up? I mean, he's not being manipulative, but... Well, I, I mean, I think we should go so we can get some answers. So it looks like he's going to give us some answers. Of... And food. The nachos. Let's go in. Okay. What do you think, guys? Let's go in. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Before you even have a chance to realize that there are no buttons, um, the door closes and it starts its ascent. Yeah, I figured that'd be... You did say ascent and not descent, right? Ascent. Okay. Top of the tower? All the way. Um, once you get past about the 10th floor... Uh, you see that this building is kind of semi-pyramidal in shape. Um, think like... Space elevator? Yeah. And so now you're on the outside of the building, and you can see, you're, you know, it's a glass elevator, and you can see out over the city, and you can see the destruction beyond the city. Uh, it's kind of beautiful in its own horrifying, terrible way. Mm. And we're responsible. Um, but yeah, you, you can go all the way to the very top. The penthouse uh, apartment, and it door opens, and you step out into uh, a gorgeously decorated Roman basilica. <gasps> oh, this looks familiar. This looks very familiar. Yeah, sorry guys, I have some pretty bad taste in art. It's okay, man. It's okay. We can't help how we're made. A man steps down the circular stairs which lead from the upper level and he's wearing um, a leisure suit if you will um, has a, a glass of apparently scotch something like that can I get you something he says he looks like the man that you saw laying dead over the um, desk yesterday Except older. Like. Even older. Hmm. 90s. Like, like a body double. Like. Like no, this he's, man he's is the in original his job. 90s. He's the original Job, and the one we found. Was one of the copies. Or, well, yes. You say this to him? Like, yeah, I, yes. So, I, say, I say, so you're the original Job. Ah. A familiar voice and a familiar face. Hello. So you're, you know your theory is wrong. You just don't care? Well. Because clearly I, I know that you must be uh, a genius because we share the same genetic. <laughs> At first, it didn't seem to matter when we were just making copies. But that's before the upload and download process was perfected. It's the only way to get to the stars, you see. Don't believe the old tales of science fiction. There's no way to go faster than light. And we have to we have to get the minds to other worlds. Why? Have you looked outside lately? This place is used up. They're going to run out of gas. They almost have. If, if not for the serious reduction in the human population, thanks to yours truly, then it, it would have been used up long ago. How are you here? Aren't you on the top ten most wanted list? Well, when you control the list... And you hide in your tower. Uh, you can make things be whatever you want it to be. Did Freddy and, and Jane, the original Freddy and James, know this? No. Do I you, think the ones that were working with the other Job, um, they didn't know that he wasn't the original Job. They just thought that he, they thought he was the original Job, but really he was one of the copies. All so, the time. so you copied and uploaded without... Deintegrating the original. Deintegration was something that the company came up with. It, it was never a part of my original design. That's why I let the copy, as you say, impersonate me. He kept me informed of what was going on. I didn't know about his little scheme until it was too late. Us. But now that you're here, you're welcome. 
you can become a part of this society. I will clear your record. I can do it right now. He reaches into his uh, pocket, his big pocket, and he pulls out a slate. And he, he just flips a couple of, of little things. He's like, there. They'll stop looking for you for a while. But it's it's not what you think. The, the soul, as you say, that's not destroyed. It's transferred. Where? Yeah, we know that's not true. Into you. Well, how but can the, that how can that be? Because how am I still here? But it, the person you replace, their souls. It's go. copied too. So you're saying that we are we both share the same soul? What's a soul? I mean, really, how how much does a soul weigh? Grind me down to the finest powder and sieve through the finest sieve, and do you find one atom of soul? Well said, sir. Well said. Someone said it before me. Descartes, right? Uh uh-huh. uh. Abraham Lincoln? Uh-huh. Regardless. Perhaps we are intertwined. Perhaps we are the same soul. Perhaps if I were to download myself into your body, we would become one. Even perhaps you would be lost. Perhaps you wouldn't. Uh, perhaps you would be. Perhaps I would be. Does it matter? What is it we're fighting for anyway? We're all just flesh and a byproduct of flesh. Why are you clearing our record? If, we, if you have this much power and we pose no threat to your operation here, why, why even offer? Because you're men. And I'm a man. And my vision was to preserve the human race. And I, I believe that I have done this, though not as intended. The video that Job left, that wasn't you. That was the other one, huh? Yes. He felt all the guilt. Yes. You feel nothing? You feel no guilt for what you've done? Perhaps, perhaps your soul really did transfer to this other Job. I feel regret that it's come to this. Regardless, I offer you this choice. I do not disagree with you. I just think that everyone should be aware of the costs. Be you, given the choice. Do you think people wouldn't... Um, wouldn't perhaps make the same choice if given the opportunity? (laughs) What's the harm in letting people know? Individuals, they're smart. They're good. They're wondrous creatures. I love man. But as a whole, as a race, as a collective of creatures we're dumb panicky and animalistic so what you're just going to sit up here in your ivory tower and control everything i control nothing i influence i prod i provide choices as i have with you and ultimately It brought you to me. But I can no more control you than I can separate the ice from this glass. And he swirls around the last little vestige of an ice cube in his scotch. So he's just standing there with, like, holding scotch. And a pad in the other hand, yeah. Okay. How far away is he from us? (laughs) Ten feet out of curiosity. Okay, I'm good. And he's a 90 year old man. And, and he's up on the fourth step. Okay, and is the window behind him? And James has tasted blood before. Like he's. he's, he's <laughs> I'm going to take a step to the side, like away from these two. Why? Look him in the eye and, and say, um, "Your offer. Can it get me off world? Certainly. Although, yeah. it would be a copy." 
It wouldn't really be you, James. You know We've that. We've established that. I told you I didn't disagree with you. You've made choices recently that frustrated you. Observe. He reaches down onto the pad, makes a few adjustments. One of the, the walls that has that had this massive fresco on it goes clear white. And then a projection. And it appears to be some kind of security camera to a room looks kind of vaguely similar to the room you woke up in yesterday. And in it sits a man in a blue jumpsuit and um, his name tag matches the name tag of the man that you threw down the shaft. You'll be happy to know that our security forces are required to do mandatory uploads every morning. We store their consciousness unless something should happen to them. And at the end of the day, we reintegrate those that did not uh, quite survive. Uh, the camera pans and you see the guy that you oh. knocked out and blew up in the car. <laughs> Except that my face here is known for failure, for other things. It doesn't matter where I go, I'll be seen. We can take care of that. He flips a little switch and a propaganda piece starts uh -huh. talking. It's basically a news style piece talking about how you heroically Conserve. wiped out the conserve and were working for uh, the it's company the entire so time. And I, I don't think you understand. I want to start over from nothing. You easy. Then I will take it off. And you? He looks to the two of you. I say, well, what can you offer me? What do you want? Um, I guess to disappear. I mean, is, you, can you give me a similar propaganda video? Change people's mind? I mean, you're, it's still your face. How does that work? You, sir, are uniquely suited to have anything you want. I won't last forever. And when I go, I'm not being disintegrated. There'll be no more copies of me. Doesn't suit me. So essentially, if there's no more copies of you, then and you're not planning to make any more copies, then I'm your legacy, correct? This building is programmed to respond to you. Did you not question why every time you tried something in this city, you succeeded with little barriers where a lesser man should have failed at every turn? This city is yours to command. The three of you young, strong men, you could overpower me before I could get up these stairs. The fact that you haven't is encouraging to me. <laughs> I could hand you this pad now, and by the afternoon, you would run everything. You could decide whether to make your public appearance known, which truth you want revealed, and which one hidden. It's up to you. All right, well, give me the pad. He hands it to you. Okay. Um, I go ahead and upload all the uh, information that we're planning to send out to everyone. Do I see you doing that? No, you don't see what I'm doing. I'm, you don't even see the pad. So let's see if you're successful. Okay. Five cards. Oh, wow. I don't have well, I'm taking all because I'm hacking and I'm doing this covertly. And we only have two. So the, the thing is, I want the system to stay the way it is. So I'm you, handing one to... Nice. But you don't... Oh, that's not fair. You don't know what you're doing. No, right. but like... That's what the fan mail is for. Yeah, he's spending one for me because yeah. it's higher drama. I can't physically do anything. Because otherwise, it. I would have my own stakes in this. Exactly. Two. And I have three. Yeah, I lost. Barely. I thought you might try that. You told me I could do whatever I wanted with the information. You said that I could. And? I wanted to test to see if it was true. When? So that was a lie, wasn't it? When I unlock that pad... You'll be able to. 
so why wouldn't you let me do it right away? It was a test. Well, I was testing you too, and you failed. <laughs> the mutual faith that we must have in one another must transcend our good looks. <laughs> you are your own soul. You are your own being. We've made different choices in life. We're different men. Maybe I will live on forever in you. I don't know. But if you do this thing, you will destroy everything that I have built. I disagree. I don't think it will. I don't think you're, you're giving people enough faith. I think if you let people know the truth. Slowly. And let. I didn't build this overnight. You must do it slowly. Did you see the reaction that they had to what you did in this building? That was just the initial shock. That'll wear off. No, there was no shock. There was disbelief. There was immediate, immediate pushback. If you do this thing, no one will believe you, no matter how much truth you give them. Then what's the harm in letting it out if no one will believe me anyway? Well, it'll be just become harder to get them to believe it later. He's right. You have to spoon feed it to him. Of course, I, I can't stop you, but <coughs> I've been around a lot longer than you. I suppose that's true. And what of you, Mr. Black? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Black? You could always learn to play the guitar again. You were pretty good, as I recall. In my youth, I did enjoy your work. Was Freddie this simple? Would he have been happy here? If he was here today, what would he say? You knew him best. Was he always going to be a rock artist for the end of his life? Is that it? Is that all he aspired to? The thing I liked best about Freddie was he inspired. He made us believe in life, in living. We couldn't take all the culture with us on those ships. But I'll tell you one thing we took. Every one of Freddie Black's albums. My copy may not have been me, but he and I were a lot alike. And there's a reason why he became friends with your predecessor. I can only imagine the conversations those two must have had. Goodness. I'm, I'll just be your number two. I, I... All right, James. Well, I guess uh, you're, you're going to want to go off world, huh? That's where you're headed? All I want to do is reset. Where do you want to go? Anywhere I'm not known. Anywhere where I can start again with what I know. Okay, but you know it won't really be you that's starting again. He reaches down to his pad to mm -hmm. take it from you. Give I, it back to I him. go ahead and give it back to him. He touches a few things, and one of the, the marbles, the Elgin marbles in the wall, turns, opens up a panel, and one of the pods drops down. It's been great, guys, but... Um, I think a different uh, constituency needs me. All right, James, you proved to be the uh, politician to the end, but we were still friends. Likewise. So goodbye. Handshake? Yeah, handshake. No, fist bump. I'll walk into the pod. <laughs> it closes. When you're ready, just touch the icon, and there's an activate icon with a little flame kind of <laughs> icon. <laughs> <laughs> I click it. He'll be stored. We can make as many of them as we want from here on. Or rather, I should say, you can. He'll be on the next ship out. Yeah, I think we just need to make the one. Put him on the next ship out. 
everybody who's gone before up has a backup down here too, you know. No, no backup. No, I don't think I don't think James would want that. There's only going to be one space senator. Well, I suppose the, room, the world's not. Even the universe is not quite big enough for more than one. I suppose the decision <laughs> can only be made by the man in charge. And there's really only room for one of us. You've just proven that. And he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a Derringer pistol. All right. Now's my chance. Now's your chance, Freddy. I'm going to body slam him out the window. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do? Um... I'm going to let him buy some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The difficulty is one. You got it? You did We're it. going out the window. Okay, Freddy. Uh, I have an ace, though, so I'm going to narrate. Um, <laughs> you run up the stairs with him, up those winding stairs with him, and pick him up like a feather. He feels so light to your um, heavy muscular self. And then dive from the side of the steps. There's no railing on these steps, by the way. Um, you just, just For a 90-year-old man? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, but you, you basically launch from the steps toward the window. Um, now, are you intending to go over with him? Okay, that's what I figured. Did he, did and, he didn't have the pad with him anymore? Did he put it down to get the gun? No, he's still holding it. Um, he's holding the pad. He's holding the gun. Uh, but, but he should drop both when he picks him up, when he nails into him body slam, right? Because um, yeah. the shock will cause him to kind of I, drop I'm cool with that. Him. I'm totally cool with that. So he drops the he drops the pad. It bounces, but doesn't shatter yeah. or anything. I mean, the whole, the things in real technology. It's just a, right. It's just a placement for your AR. He goes backwards into this thing, and you feel the window give. Like there's this moment where it feels a little bit like fabric. That's you think maybe you won't go through, and then Freddy, uh, no, <laughs> and so you bad. fall, and you fall, and you fall, and you fall. The eighty stories that this building has in this massive superstructure of glass and steel, just super steel shards of glass cascading around, all him. with you. You're you're fairly certain that he's gone long before you get to that. Um, but you see it coming quicker, 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 and then suddenly. Um, I raise, and you stand yeah, alone. I'm a little shocked, yeah. I, I raise I pick in up, your new kingdom. I pick up the glass of scotch <laughs> and I and I hold it up and I say, Rock on, Freddy. Rock on. <laughs> um, there's a artificial digital chitter. Um, on the pad, Mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. And as you look at it, it says, terminated, protocol seven, initiated, access granted. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and, um, not now, I'm going to, like, I guess, put plans into place to um, disseminate the information a bit more slowly. Okay. But, uh, so the truth will come out. Um, gradually over time. Don't even need to check. You have full access right. now. I also go ahead and um, set up James to be on the next ship out. As you survey your kingdom, and you bring up screen after screen after screen after screen, all the walls fade to why this is a circular room. So, I mean, you've got the equivalent of 20 screens around you in a circular fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, even the, the, the glass itself, except for the broken panel, uh, becomes opaque, and you, you're able to to put a screen on that as well. And um, you survey the disintegration chambers, the reintegration chambers, um, the the list of of new copies that are being made right now. Um, and as you scan the list, you see uh, two names that have been added to the queue. Mm-hmm. Um, Jefferson and Black. Okay. Um, uh, I want, well, Jefferson is already going to have his in, um, on the ship, right? Yes. And that's the only place it's going to be? No. Okay. It's queued up for then I, the ship as well as a, a fresh reintegration. All right, then I turn that one off. I, I cancel that one. Done. He's just going to the ship. Done. That, that's what he wanted. Freddy, I'm not sure what he wanted, but um, I, I think he would probably want to be 
Like, there might, like, even though it wouldn't be Freddy, there'd still be a Freddy around. I don't know if that's what he'd want, but it seems like that's what he might want, or could have wanted. So, who knows? We'll see. So I go ahead and I let that one go through. And as you reach to touch the button, we cut. The Game Master for the Eden Program is Adam Doc Bracken, writing Primetime Adventures by Matt Wilson of Dog Eared Designs. Freddie Black is played by Brian McKittrick. James Jefferson is played by Will Parsons. And Job Stevens is played by Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Krueger. For the Backward Compatible Crew, thank you for listening.